Last year, 250,000 people tried to cross the Mediterranean Sea and almost 30,000 people have died trying to enter Europe since 2000. The number of people who have died attempting to reach Italy, Greece and Spain, to name but three, by sea in the past year, averages 10 deaths per day. You know, these shocking figures, along with the humanitarian crisis in the Mediterranean, this week's horrific discovery in Austria, member states erecting border fences and discriminating on the basis of religion, and the ongoing crisis in Cali, all point to a Europe whose immigration policies are both inhumane and failing miserably. Sinn Féin has consistently supported and called for a radical overhaul in EU policies called the Dublin Regulations and we have demanded meaningful actions on relocation and resettlement as well as condemning any repressive or cohesive measures against these people who are fleeing oppression and war. The European Council proposal to relocate 40,000 people over the next two years has failed to achieve unity among European heads of state. Given that 7 million people have fled Syria and 2 million have escaped from Iraq, 40,000 is a mere drop in the ocean. You know, these are mothers and fathers and brothers and sisters and aunts and uncles and grandparents. Look around your own home and so many little boys and little girls fleeing from Syria, Libya and Eritrea and other places, places that are wrought with Western induced conflicts we see in the news each day. And rather than addressing either the causes of the huge population displacement or reacting or react to this humanitarian crisis with humanity, the European Union has prioritised a fortress European mindset. It has enhanced the mandate of Frontex forcibly uh, registering and forcibly you know, having people's fingerprints taken, registration, and whilst at the same time they're expelling, they're expelling uh, others and detaining many, many more. You know, the Irish and British government have an absolute responsibility to act with compassion and to act swiftly. I applaud the two Irish naval ships, the Ethna and the Neve which have, in a few short months, rescued over 5,000 people who would have otherwise drowned in the Mediterranean. Irish people have taken the heart-wrenching decision, and we all know many who have left our country, and they've done it countless times throughout history. Indeed, a half a million of our people have left over the last seven years alone. You know, the small amount of additional refugees the Irish government agreed to accommodate in direct provision sites is not sufficient. It's an insufficient response. And these sites are definitely not fit for purpose. Britain and other invading countries attempted to justify military invention and the destruction of societies which has displaced millions of people and now they try to justify abandoning the victims of their disastrous foreign policy. Refugees in Cali are not invading hordes, they are people. People desperately trying to escape death. Cali is nothing more than a symbol of Europe's failure to manage migration and the refugee crisis. Under the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, every human being has a right to dignity and protection. So let us all lean on the humanity of the Irish people and together reject the hostility and dehumanising language directed at desperate people fleeing conflict and conflicts that have gone unresolved for decades, which are depriving populations of stability, of prosperity 
and of hope. So we must find legal and safe routes and then the indecent reaction from the West about the rest. 